What's up guys? This is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my own Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And in this episode we are continuing our steamroll through India and we're engaging this force in Mysore with one of our armies. I mean we took Mysore pretty conclusively last turn and we're now just steaming up southern, in southern India. So we've got a fight here, then we've got two more fortresses to take. And we may or may not fight this battle, this army in the in the, the port, depending on what the condition of our fleet, of our army here is. But first, we must take out this Indian army. Yeah, there's, there's, India doesn't really have, well, it doesn't have the strength to fight us um, so, so massively on every front. I mean, we're doing really well in the south and the east, and our armies in the north haven't actually even got there yet. So, yeah, I think we're going to, we're going to deal the most decisive blows now, and then when our armies that currently fought their way through the Middle East get here, it will actually be a bit of a, a mopping up operation. So my field artillery can, can just fire from the rear. Oh, it's just getting a bit closer. Line my infantry up, although that position or well, that um, feature in the centre of the line might make it a bit awkward but not irreparably so there we go so let's get my general involved and let's open fire so let's take these three units advance them up to the high ground we're gonna have shrapnel here yeah, we've got shrapnel shot coming in so we need to be aggressive come on deploy I guess we've cleared out one foot artillery unit Fall into squares. If they it looked like they were going to charge, howitzers focus on the war elephants. Field artillery focus on the war elephants. It looks like they're going to bounce into our squares and then then immediately bounce off again. The elephants have been repulsed with through significant artillery fire. Musketeers are aware of what's going on. Okay, let's pivot. Get our artillery to focus on the other general's bodyguard. Let's get our quick climbing howitzers to start to clear out some of these enemy mobile units bring in our horse guard against the Zamandari horsemen, get our general around there to start to knock out the enemy artillery come on camels You guys can knock out that Kizilbashi Musketeer unit. And there we go. Push up. Field artillery engage the general's bodyguard back here. General's bodyguard chase down the enemy artillery. Get my camels to start to counter their camels. Let's 
Get you guys in, charge. Kizilbashi musketeers. Get you guys in, charge down the Hindu musketeers. Get you guys up here. Come on, camels, open up. Get your little putt putt guns out. Although, safe to say, it looks like chase down those camels, lest they do some... Ah! Oh, is it these are Colonial Light Cavalry, I see. Understandable. No, General's Bodyguard. Don't fight there, General's Bodyguard. Chased on their Hindu musketeers. So it looks like we're going to clear out these Hindu musketeers. Fire it will on. Well, I might actually get you just to shoot them, to just skirmish them pretty much. You guys chase down the Hindu musketeers, just send these infantry over. Guard mode off. When you fight the musketeers, chase them down. Cease fire with all my artillery. Is that everyone? Why have we not got our end end turn? end battle thing pop up yet oh it was these guys right yeah we're going to continue because why the hell not okay we killed the general so don't bother wasting your time although killing those guys is a bit of a waste of time yeah, you may as well kill the, gen the rest of this infantry unit, I guess. With well, this general's unit. It looks like these guys have routed sufficiently well that they're probably going to escape. And they have. get that unit to run over here rather than charge they don't kill all my men camels are faster than a man but they're not the best unit they're gonna get some damage Meh. not so bad not so bad it's a it's a victory nonetheless that's another army that's being pushed back northward non possiamo, signore. so you may need to replenish the Nino Boscovich is going to... So who's coming in to... So the smart decision, I think, is to attack this... I have to, I have to fight this one manually or else I'll deplete all these other armies. Or... Do I fight... No, I fight the... I fight them both manually, because if I fight this one, it will draw in this army here, and then this army will be destroyed. So I may as well fight it properly. I mean, it will be quick, but I may as well fight it, because it will draw in the reinforcement army that might come in and frustrate things in the main fight for the capital. I think that's the right way to do it. I mean, it's kind of six of one, half dozen of the other. One thing I couldn't really do was auto-resolve either of them, because I don't want to damage either of them too badly, because even though we are doing rather well um, in southern India, we don't really want to be throwing men away so easily. Oh my god. What? Oh. It's fun, though. I like it. Although, okay. 
I mean, that makes sense for a fort, really. So my guns are going to be over here on the corner. My howitzers are going to be up close and nasty. To create one bank of troops to advance from one direction. Another block of troops to advance from another direction. With a bit of cavalry support. Nino back here. Okay, because there's no one actually on this flank, I am just going to push up. <laughs> I haven't seen Quicklime do that before. Okay, use round shot. I mean, uh, to be honest, I don't know why I deployed my men here, because they probably can't even advance up this. Can they advance straight up that slope? No, I didn't think so. But we are going to have a way in. I mean, yeah, you guys stop firing. Stop firing. Um, stop firing that. To be honest, just, just attack the centre. So these guys. Yeah, they have to go all the way around here. That's okay. These men are tired, so let's just walk them up to the walls. These men have to run to catch up. These guys, I suppose, if anything, are actually going to go face off against the reinforcements. Let's bring up my hussars. You secure one wall, you secure another wall. My marines are going to hold here, ready to storm in. Zimandari horsemen. I mean, they're in a similar sort of problem. They have a similar issue. You may have to run. So who are they sending to stop us? Tufangi, Tufangi. We made a breach, but we're not even going to use it. Because I want to secure the walls. Or at least some of the walls. No, 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 no. See, look, I hate it when they do this, when they've got a breach. Look, they're going to run in to try... They were going to run in via the breach, and it's like, well, no, I don't want that, obviously. I want them just to climb the walls. It looks like they're going to run through the... T through the... Through the wall there. You men engage the Zimandari horsemen. They're sending, they are sending their cavalry in to stop us. Don't want my marines going in there yet. These guys are doing a terrible job at actually climbing up the wall because they're all going single file up one rope. Charge down the levee. No, that's the wrong way. Units in the square, get out of square.
camels are coming in. Oh no, camels! Marines, come in and fight the camels. Let's get these marines inside the gate. Get these men off the wall. So my marine should do a real number against a real number on these camel mercenaries. The fourth marines that have been elite troops fighting this entire from this from the start of my very first campaign. You men fight the levy, you men run. Yeah, the grenadiers were enough to beat that camel unit. Our unit that was our guy that was stuck outside of the walls is no longer stuck. I really want my marines focusing on the camels. I know quick climb doesn't really work, but if I attack ground, that could do something. It could do something useful. So we're firing by rank at the Dakili. My marines are engaging. The horsemen, that's quite a good split actually. Okay, I might get one of you guys inside. And one of you around here to fight against the breach. Stop the howitzers from firing because they can't do what we need them to do. I mean, you guys, let's pick a weak unit, a weaker unit of Grenadier Guards. Go attack the artillery. Everyone else, get up here. I mean, there is a horseman unit, who, so you guys might actually pivot just to shoot at them. Now you guys can carry on doing what you're doing. You'll mow down the this unit of two fangy in pretty short order. I'll try and run my hussars through the infantry if I can. May as well shoot them because they're not going to route not easily from a combat. May as well just shoot them. There's two Zemindari horsemen units left. One's over here, attacking the rear of the 47th. No, come on, cavalry. Just run over here and secure the centre. What a stupid fight. <laughs> I mean, it's a wicked fort. I mean, defending it would kind of suck from a quick line perspective because it might make the... Uh, the effective kill zones might actually be quite small and close to the walls. No, you were so close. My marines are first in, the fourth foot guards have taken a pasting. It looks like my cavalry are never going to be free of this combat. So let's just run an infantry unit up there to secure it. There we go. I mean, it won't be long, surely, till they just route. Because this is all they've got left. Uh, speed up time. So 
I mean, we're taking the center, and these two, these handful of units are all they have left anyway. One man, three men. One man. Brave men. They held out till the end, but not going to help them. Although, oh, there's a unit of bowmen back there. Eh, same difference. There we go. So we've taken the fort, which was in a pretty cool place, I must admit. Well, you do get to retreat. The bowmen get to fall back. So you men replenish. Let's repair the great fortress. Ernesto Defendi, let's take our cot. Good. Then this, this territory will fall into our hands and their money-making ventures will become our own. Oh, Milton. Who overcomes by force have overcome but half his foe. That's pretty much what Empire is all about, isn't it? The religious problems and the public order problems generally sort themselves out sooner or later. So we're going to... Actually, this is a pretty good position for our guns. Come on, Ernesto. You've been with us since the start as well. We've got some mighty elite infantry here. Excellent. So let's select a unit of in a, a selection of infantry to go in through the front through the front door. Our marines and some more elite infantry can advance around the flank. Let's give them some cavalry to support their assault. Let's get a Nesto and a regiment of horse to go in through the front door. Get some attack grounds done. Shots fired in the center. Oh yes. So the Indian Wars break very, very easy. Um, but well the, the walls break easy and they've got you can make quite a large selection of um like you can make multiple breaches through the walls. So that's quite nice. They've got a lot of camels back here. But yeah, thinning out this section here will do us... Will do so much good. Because cavalry, camels, they're the most some of the most frustrating elements of... Um, attacking a fortress. But you can co collapse this corner section, this section, section here, section here. So one corner, you can have four holes in it. Which, if you're defending, is pretty good. Because you just end up creating like a a corner here. And create that and put this, create this as a killing zone. Um, but the AI rarely does. More delicious quick climb shots in the centre. We will make our we will make our entrances. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, one more shot would have done it, and the Sikh Musketeers would have lost a few more men. More howitzer shots coming in. More camels lost. There are some camels still sat at the back. There we go, we've collapsed that section, let's attack that section of the wall. Let's put a good few breaks in it now, because we've got the firepower to take advantage of it. Fire! Okay, let's get one of the cowitzers to work on the men defending the breach. Another unit to maybe switch this to round shot and attack the camels. 
Okay, don't attack the camels. But at the very least, we can take our unit of line, advance them up ahead of the guns, lest they try suicide charge. It's just so difficult to avoid quick climbing the center. Because you're getting some good hits on their cavalry, camels, their general. Surely some artillery in here, some levy, Sikh warriors. It's just such an appetizing target. But still, while we're doing that, we can begin our general advance. This looks like a lot of men, but it's only one Hindu musketeer unit defending this, this occupying this entire stretch. There are and the thing is with these native factions is they have a habit of at times if you have them if you scale the walls in front of range of their artillery, they will they will destroy the section of the wall you are advancing up. Let's put the, a unit of marines to cover the gate. I do like securing the wall. You men retarget that section of the wall to your right. So we were trying to blow another breach there, but I do want to damage this seek unit on the wall here because they're going to get some free shots against my troops. They're getting some free hits against my infantry, so you guys might actually fall back a bit. Who, how did you shoot anyone? Take the wall and use it to mount your own troops on as a fire step. There we go. It's it's not. They're not going to let you get away with that for very long. This sort of unlimited assault. And you can see they are actually starting to shoot at that unit of the wall, that section of the wall. You men attack the Hindu populace. This unit here. Get off that section. These marines get in here. Take the war to the Hindu musketeers. These marines are almost entirely up the wall. Marines are fighting through the center. Once these men are up on the walls, they will start to they'll mount the fire step and shoot down some of these camels. Unfortunately, I hate it when they stack one, one behind the other like that. Like you men form to block off that unit, you men and get form to engage the square, you these men form to fire into the troops there. So they're defending this position. 
Let's quick climb it. Let's get some of these men off the walls, behind the line. Get some of these marines off the walls as well. Very well. You men drop into square. So now you can fire by rank into the main block of infantry. The Seek Warriors, Seek Warriors, Levy, Levy, Horsemen, Camels. These men get out of square and advance instead. Marines form square. My infantry get off the walls over here. Get the infantry to engage the line over here. New men drop into square. Let my marines also drop into square. New men charge the Sikh musketeers. Howitzers round shot. The general's bodyguard. These two units can storm in. My marines knock out their guns. Lots of these these camel units should become inc increasingly upset because they've got nowhere to go except into squares. You men drop into squares as well. Men are not making it easy. Well, you hit that unit. You guys hit that unit. You men get over here as well. So we're hitting the camel. We're hitting the um, elephants, which I'm. Or I'm just going to guess we formed square to avoid. these units over into the center as well once these marines win against the camels they're going to charge into the rear well you guys are actually annihilating that that unit stop the howitzers from firing because they're going to fire into this block of men You men knock out the last of these gunners. There's only one gunner left. There we go. You men take the centre. These camels don't really have anyone they can shoot at. Some of our men decided to run out and uh, jump out of the square and die. So this unit, there we go, is deliberately firing by rank into the general's bodyguard. It'll do some damage to my own infantry, but there's not really a lot of a lot else I could do. Potentially get these guys out of square and run. I'm not sure who came over here. Oh, there's a gunner left. Not anymore. Camels are done. Get these men in behind the Hindu musketeers and charge them in the rear. The first foot guards, like I said, they've done a ter terrific job holding this front. And to the victor goes the spoils. Okay, let's get... Let's get organised. I, mean, I don't think they're going to do anything to stop us, really, but better safe than sorry. Like, there's a couple of units over there, but they're not going to... Looks like they're not really going to stop us. I 
I mean, they might try, but... That's why I've pushed some units up there that are in range. Yeah, they've they've broken. Hurrah! So our cot is now ours as well. Oh, a lot of troops destroyed for the enemy. Excellent, and it's an incredibly lucrative region. So let's destroy this pleasure garden because we're going to replace it with a, a religious building. Let's push up to the steam dry dock. Because we only need one. We don't need so many. So these fourth rates, to be honest, there aren't actually many parts of the coast we don't control. Well, I don't think there's... Realistically, there isn't any, because we control all of the rest. They're not suffering from financial issues yet. Fabia, Fabiano Castelli, push up. Let's upgrade the steam pumped gold mine. Infrastructure upgrade's pretty good. Let's upgrade the global trading company. So they might be a bit grumpy from a religious perspective, but that's why I want to build a church school, because I'll counteract the behaviour of this imam. You might just attack Satara and capture that as well. There's a lot of... well, again, as per usual, when you're fighting the Mughals, there's a lot of stuff that needs to happen. Like, you need to fight Amin Kachwaha, you guys need to hit Gazidi Uddin Khan. You guys could push and maybe take Srinagar, but you're actually going to hold there, because that's quite a good crossing to have. You're going to auto resolve this fight because we've already def we've already fought that army before. Pepino Volta, but let's push these two stronger armies up there first. You need to go fight Ali Khan, and that will really open up the front down here. Do you guys have a church school? You're getting one, so Augusto can push onward to Nerun. Let's not go crazy. Um, uh, do I want to take Satara? I don't think so yet. Or do I? Do I just take it? If it I mean, the, the garrison's pretty basic. I mean, I may as well. Let's do it. Let's take Satara. The sooner we're in, the sooner we're repairing buildings, and the sooner we are replenishing our troops, rather than waiting for them to mass and strike us first. I suppose that's how I look at it. Let us see. So let's put our field artillery up here because they might be able to fire inside the city. I mean, every time I try and do that, it never seems to work. But every time I don't worry about it, they seem to do it. Five units are going to go up front. Four units are going to go around the flank. All of our cavalry are going to go around the flank as well. Okay. Let's crack on. Oh man, again, two howitzers work on the central block. Because <laughs> look at that. I mean, why would you not shoot at that? Like when they do, when they're just gonna sit there. I mean, are they actually spreading out a bit? They're spreading out a bit. We've lost one gun. Because again, they are. That's one thing the Indian factions do have is they have plentiful artillery on their walls. So that's kind of why we need to make our do with the damage that we can do. Pretty ricky tick. I mean, goddamn. But yet again, we want to do 
We want to try and limit damage to our troops. Because we know we, there are potentially lots of counterattacks coming in. So we want to make our breaches. Clear out the enemy as efficiently as we can. <laughs> so much damage. Because again, all, that means all these units that they then deploy to fight us later on are just that much more worthless. But it would be good, I suppose, to start to th thin out some of these other actual positions. I mean, the centre's pretty knackered right now, so we need to start hitting some of these other clusters of troops. Like, oh god, like that. Yeah, those bowmen did not like that. Okay, you men, storm up. Front line, advance. So if you attack ground there, you can kill that dervish unit pretty effectively. You guys can hit that armed populace unit pretty effectively too. Well, they might not have been quick enough. Oh god. Yep. Good stuff. So you men cover the gate. You men assault the gate. You men or two units assault the wall right in the face of this musket unit. I mean, I know I said I'm gonna, I'm trying to save units, but by what my what I'm choosing to do right now is gonna cause me to lose um, a good chunk of my troops. But my hope is that we can secure the gate in pretty short order, and then my cavalry just spill in. I hear a charge. Someone's charging outside the gate. Yeah, you keep keep thinning out the centre. Fire it will off. It looks like they're abandoning the wall, which is great. So let's pre there we go. So those are both the correct places I want my army to advance on. So you men fire at will. Get out of the way, you madmen! Hello, dervishes. The gatehouse is ours. So let's let them all run away to try and attack us in different places. Okay, let's get another unit in there to help fight against the dervishes there. Fight down the hit fight down the down the steps. Things are about to get a bit spicy here at the here on the outside the steps. So Mr. Kaboto might end up actually getting incredibly upset. 
Lancer Guards, get in. Curacier, get in. Yeah, there we go. Mr. Gaboto has fallen. Good job, my heart is all fired now. Halt. Looks like there's a couple of units that have broken in the main gate. So, two of these units swivel to hit the enemy. All of you guys push in. You men charge the garrison musketmen. You guys are fighting the Kizilbashi. Very well. <laughs> well, it's too bad that that general, general died the way he did, but there we are. Things happen. For well, one reason or another, you know, tide goes in, tide goes out. You can't explain that, according to Bill O'Reilly. Yeah, kill that cavalryman and then get back on the square. That's the commander. There we go. Soon the end will be nigh. It's two bowmen to kill, and there's about 400 guys on that stairwell. Got him! Okay, you men charge into some of these Hindu musketeers. To be honest, a couple of you do that. There we go. We've only got to hold for 14 more seconds. There you go, the garrison musketmen. Hindu musketeers are upset. There we go, with many, many destroyed buildings and units a lot more damage than, than I would have liked. But still, I think it made for a fun battle rather than sitting back and quick climbing the bejesus out of everyone. Or, oh no, it's Cesare Castro, not Enrico Caboto. Well, don't care then. Yeah, I see a lot of troops in the distance. You men replenish, recruit a new general from the this elite regiment of foot. Amerigo Bruno. Destroy the university. Repair the global trading company. Hurrah! Then it's gonna be onwards to Hyderabad. Yeah, so you're going to push up to about there. You're going to push up. We'll try push up to the bridge. Nino Boscovich is going to march out. No, he's not. He's going to stay where he is. You're not going to jump. I would like you to jump on them. So I'm going to cancel the Jesuit College. And you need to march to the east here. And then hit Rambora, a force that we were going to attack you know, an episode or so ago when he was about here, and we didn't. Now we know. We cannot let them. Um, mass. We must maintain the pressure. Keep pushing them back on all fronts. We have the momentum. We have the mass. We have the quality. We must squeeze the Mughal Empire between both our hands and squash them like the head of a Dornish prince. <sighs> right. 
artillery form up. So let's pick a handful of inf pick a handful of infantry, plus some fusiliers, plus some infantry. So I get my fusiliers sort of in the middle of my formation. There you go. My generals are going to start dying because I need to get them in the mix. They are valuable assets. So push up, cavalry, it's a unit of war elephants, not a general's bodyguard, but war elephants. Nope. Camels are getting ready to fire, so the fusiliers form square, because one of them's... Okay, bring in my cavalry to pursue those elephants, pursue those um, camels. Push my infantry up. How it's target the ranged in the um, target the ranged infantry with my musketeers. You men advance alone against the war elephants. Well, actually, not alone. But yeah, my general's bodyguard should be okay. To pursue the elephants, he's no, the, the camels. They're faster. Oh, that's a delicious target for a quick climb. Attack ground right there. Bit of fratricide might go on here, but that's okay. Get my cavalry running into the rear of their formation. Like my swordsmen have broken. Oh, there you go. When you right click, sometimes, yes, yeah, some of them stop to fight you. Obviously, they will instantly die. General's bodyguard isn't going to be around for too long. Let's throw my heavy cavalry in against the Zemindari horsemen. My heavy cavalry hit their cavalry. My hussars are loitering. My heavy cavalry smashed their infantry. Let's push you guys up. The Zamandari horsemen on this flank are broken. All my field artillery focus on the general's bodyguard to the rear. Not bothered about chasing down their cavalry. But I am bothered about chasing down their infantry. There we go. Keep right clicking them just to make sure they... They keep stopping to fight every so often. But also keep... throwing my infantry into the fight. Howitzers... By a round shot into the General's Bodyguard, there will be a bit of fratricide here. New men advance. Where's my my general? Get you back. Based on that dervish unit from a long way off. Get these hussars in. Get these heavy horse cavalry. Heavy horse artillery in. Howitzers. Attack their large mortars. No, attack the general's bodyguard with all my artillery. The unit that was here appears to have been destroyed. get some hussars in to face down the musketeers because you guys are after the Islamic swordsmen. Actually, you guys might hit that unit of Islamic swordsmen. Something like that. Good stuff. This is quite the slaughter. 
And you can lob quick climb if you like, but I'm too close. Pivot these fusiliers, because some of the... Ooh, no. Halt. I don't know why I've started getting this habit of... selecting multiple units when I don't mean to. I think it's I'm probably like holding on to shift a bit too much. General's bodyguards, well, that usually unit is likely not going to be enough. Let's stop our artillery altogether now. Fusiliers will likely not be enough to hold off the dervishes. Doesn't matter though, because they've routed and my general's right here to take care of them. I mean, you were after the Islamic swordsmen, but needs must. You met about face. Enemy general's been killed, which is great. One last gunner. You guys go after the horse artillery. Cease fire, continue the fight. Come on. Two gunners. Then you're going to go after the Hindu musketeers. Because the general is a... The general's been killed, so his bodyguard will despawn anyway. There we go. Good stuff. Many, many men killed in this engagement. Rambara's force has been annihilated. It's the general's bodyguard. Don't care about them. Where's the other heavy cavalry unit? Yeah. So everyone's going to end up going to support that engagement against the Hindu warriors because these guys will definitely fall. Chomp. So let's run them all the way over here immediately. Come on, take out the Hindu warriors because then that would be a fantastic moment of pure destruction. There we go. Now they've made it past my men. I can start to deselect the wrong unit. There we go. So much cavalry. It should be a cinch to mop them up. Oh yes. Rambara, you magnificent bastard. Yes. Damn right, that was a decisive victory. They didn't really know where to go. Delicious, delicious, delicious! 10 to 1 exchange ratio. So you men can replenish. Giorgio Matarazzi can leave the city. Oh no, he can't, because they still... ...don't want to um, be ruled by a foreign master. Well, let's get used to it, son. Because the Italians are coming. So you're in, a f you're in fairly good shape. What I want is to take this army, probably, to go hit Adilbora. Although I'd like... If, this, if I could do this without bringing in that army... Yeah, because that's an auto-resolve right there. You got a whole bunch of genuphobe, uncle to his men, study under fire, conflict general mentioned in dispatches. 
So Martiano Carducci, you're becoming quite the general. But we can advance. So that will be a river battle if we fight it. So I want to take Nino Chetti up one flank. You men advance up out just outside of their control zone. And then we probably want to take Nicola Andrizi to hit Ali Pani. Because I'll probably... Okay, so I'll bring in these two units plus... Potentially this garrison unit here, maybe, because they're on the road. Although actually we're not bringing in any reinforcements, so ugh, that's unfortunate. We have to retreat. I was hoping these guys would get involved because they're within the within the zone. Oh well. So these guys might take this as an opportunity to sprint towards Calcutta, not that it's going to help them. Yeah, don't worry, we're taking care of you. I mean, we could run straight onto Ahmadnagar, but considering there's a whole bunch of Mughal troops here, that would be a bit silly. Goa's repairing. These armies need to move up pretty much as quickly as they can. Although, we now have another army here. So if I take you guys out of the port, say oh, this fourth rate ship of the line, I should not even need to do that. This recruited force, this finished force in Colombo, very, very, very green force. They can sail into Bombay. March in and take the city without firing a shot. Right, let's see if we can demand the surrender. Okay, it's going to bring in two armies. It's going to bring in this force here and this force here. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode because I think this is actually a pretty ideal time to maintain our momentum. Um, so we can take a Madnagar, and then that's... Pff, they're really screwed, actually. But it's worth taking it, because this army won't take much to beat. The reinforcements are pretty useless, and that um, 64 pounder great gun will be useful to kill in isolation. And they have no defences anyway, so we can move up pretty aggressively, and their infantry won't be able to stop us. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time to, when we continue to steamroll Mughal through Mughal territory. Cheers, everyone.